Hello you guys. Today I am going to do a school biography which took me a long time to make. Please don't get mad at me or anything because I haven't posted for a while. Anyways, enjoy this super duper cringy ugly lazy video. Patrick Henry was born on the 29th of May, 1736 in Studley, VA, also known as Virginia. His parents were Sarah Winston Heim and John Henry. His siblings were Elizabeth Henry Campbell Russell and William Henry. Patrick Henry was mostly educated by his father at home. As a young adult, he struggled find a profession as a young adult. He failed in several attempts as a story owner and a planter. Overall, he married a woman named Sarah Shelton in 1754. Henry somehow taught himself law while working as a tavern keeper at his father-in-law's inn. One of Henry's major legal case was also known as Carson's Cause which occurred in 1763. It was a dispute involving Anglican clergy in colonial Virginia. It was one of the first legal attempts to challenge the limits of England's power over the American colonies. It established Patrick Henry as a leader in the emerging movement. And now, in 1765, let me present you the Stamp Act. Yes, the Stamp Act. The time when Great Britain passed the first of a series of taxes to help pay for the growing costs of defending the American colonies. Patrick Henry responded to the Stamp Act and introduced to the Virginia legislature in a speech. It was soon published in other colonies and helped to articulate America's stance against taxation without representation under the British crown. Later in the speech, Patrick Henry flirted with treason when he maintained his oppressive. The Second Virginia Convention met at St. John's Church in March of 1775 which was held at Richmond, Virginia. It was discussed the state's strategy against the British. At this place, Patrick Henry led out his famous quote, Give me liberty, or give me death. Now this is the part that gets very serious. During the American Revolution, Patrick Henry served as a patriot during the war. After the war ended, Patrick Henry became an outspoken anti-federalist. He worried that the federal government was too powerful and too centralized that it could evolve into a monarchy. The anti-federalist papers were influential in helping to shape in the Bill of Rights. As a Virginia delegate to the Continental Congress, Patrick Henry never held a national public office. Unfortunately, Patrick Henry died on the 6th of June, 1799 at the age of 63 from stomach cancer. May he be remembered forever.